Change the world. Three words with profound meaning. There are over 200 million square miles of land and water, over 7 billion people, about 7,000 languages, nearly 200 countries, and 8 million species of animals. This is our world. It's vast. We have a lot going on. Despite how big and complex our world may appear to be, we embrace the idea of changing the world, of being world changers. But how do you do it? Where do you begin when you want to change the world? These three words have always caught my attention and have served as a North Star in my journey. So several years ago, I moved from my small hometown in Louisiana and I headed west to San Diego. I was ready for a change. I knew I wanted to start a company that would make a difference, but I had no idea what that company would be or how I would even go about it, nor did I have any experience in it. So I went back to school and I ended up receiving inspiration in a very unsuspecting place. One of my professors assigned us to read a book called Out of Poverty. And in that book, the author made a few references to the need for eye care in the world. And it really caught my attention. See, I've had poor vision nearly my entire life. It's been something that I frequently would complain about, but it wasn't until reading about this need in the world that I realized I'm really blessed to have access to eye care, to own a pair of glasses or contacts to see clearly. So out of curiosity, how many people in the audience wear eyeglasses or contacts or are visually impaired? Please raise your hands. Take a look around. It's over half the room is visually impaired. And I hope you'll realize something in this moment. How blessed we are to be here, to be able to see, to have access to eye care. It's something that over a billion people in our world don't have. So I started doing more and more research and I learned that 80% of the world's blindness is preventable. Four out of five people who are blind could still have their vision if they had access to eye care. After reading that statistic, I had a fire lit inside of me and I knew I needed to come up with a way to address this. And during my research, I realized the need for eye care, like many of our world's problems, already has solutions. It's just a matter of prioritizing and scaling those solutions so we can reach more people in need. So after that, I had a light bulb moment and I thought, you know what, why not launch a line of environmentally responsible sunglasses where we use recycled and repurposed materials in the construction of our sunglasses and then donate a portion of our profits to nonprofit organizations to fund eye care for people in need. So I ended up naming the company Solo Eyewear. I partnered with a coworker on campus who was also a fellow student and together we launched the company. We formed partnerships with two nonprofit organizations. So I mentioned that 80% of the world's blindness is preventable. Over half of this preventable blindness is caused by cataracts. Cataracts are a very common eye condition that's treatable. But what happens is the lens in the eye begins to cloud, and if it's not treated, you go blind. So we've formed a partnership with Aravind Eye Care System. They are a world-leading institution at providing eye care to the masses and have performed millions of cataract surgeries for people in need. Essentially, people come into their hospital blind in one or both eyes from cataracts, undergo a quick 10-minute surgery, and have their vision totally restored. You might be wondering, what does something like that cost? $15. It gives me goosebumps every time I say it. $15 can drastically change someone's life. To date, we have funded eye care for over 13,000 people 
across 32 countries. Thank you. Thank you. It means the world to us. It's the entire reason why we exist. I wish I could tell you that this journey has been easy, but the truth is it's been far from easy. So here's a picture of me and my business partner, Dana. I share it with you because there's a backstory behind this photo. And I think this backstory serves as a metaphor for entrepreneurship, this journey to change the world. So at first glance, we may seem happy-go-lucky, everything's great. And the truth is, we were in the midst of a great opportunity when this photo was taken. We were selected to be featured in, an, in a documentary sponsored by REI. And the filmmaker said they wanted to capture footage of us on our paddle boards. And they said, okay, you guys go get out in the water on your paddle boards, but whatever you do, don't get wet. <laughs> We have to take portraits of you afterwards and we want you looking great. So I remember thinking like, who falls off the water, you know, off a paddleboard in calm water? Well, I, I'm paddleboarding, Dana's in front of me and I'm not paying attention. I start to run into Dana's paddleboard and I thought, oh, I'll just put my paddle out and brace for impact. No, I put my paddle out and propelled her forward. And in slow motion, I tell you, the next few seconds felt like minutes, her arms start going in the air like this, and her feet are pedaling, and I hear, Jenny! And I turn around, and the camera crew is capturing this entire moment. <laughs> and I'm thinking, oh my gosh, it's February, the water is freezing, the words I'm sorry just didn't quite capture my remorse. So the only thing I could think to do was just a cannonball into the water with her. <laughs> so when you watch that documentary, they didn't put the footage of Dana gracefully falling in. They put the cannonball scene in. But now you know the truth behind it. So I share this story because it's so representative of this journey. Things don't always go as planned. You fall down, you get up you question, what the heck was I thinking? At times, you really consider throwing in the towel. If you can focus on the upside, though, it's an incredible experience. You learn so much about yourself, working with others, business, making an impact. You get out of your comfort zone in more ways than one, and incredible things happen that you could have never imagined, much like me standing here in front of each of you. You can also impact the lives of thousands of others and inspire others to do the same. Through our journey, we've had incredible experiences. We've traveled across the world, participated in eye care clinics, stood in operating rooms, witnessing people regain their vision, the joy in their faces, flying into remote regions and finding hundreds of people waiting for your team to arrive to have their vision checked, hearing stories from families who traveled through the night to be there and listening to countless children say, I just want to be able to see the board in the classroom. I can't tell you how amazing it feels to show up in the lives of others and to help them. I stand here as one person who had an idea and took action. As complex as our world may seem, the formula for positively impacting it is quite simple. It takes one person plus one idea plus one action to change the world. If you have a calling or a stirring desire to help others, listen to it. You are meant to make a profound difference in this world. Your spirit, soul, inner being, whatever you call it, already knows. Just listen to it. The journey may be crazy, but I promise you, incredible things lie ahead. Thank you.